Hello, my beautiful babies, and welcome to our tarot stream today. I'm so excited. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me, Danica, where's the 2021 calendar? Is there a calendar this year? The answer is no, mm. <laughs> there's not a calendar this year. COVID put the kibosh on my cosplays this year, mm. okay? So like, I wasn't able to come up with a bunch of cool photos for you guys, so it's like super sad, but, mm. but, I'm not coming to you empty handed on Black Friday, okay? Because I do have something for sale. It may not be a calendar, but it is a full 78 card tarot, actually it's got more cards, 78 card tarot deck and a tarot book for sale instead. So yes, I'm so excited. And also big news, international shipping is back. I know this year I haven't been doing international shipping because COVID was like freaking everything out, but I've decided I am in the holiday spirit. I'm feeling very generous and we are going to open up international sales. So if you were not able to get any of the Dune merch, you will be able to do so now if you're my international peeps. And also a lot of my Dune merch is discounted. So there is a lot of shit that's on sale, but wait, there's more. Uh, even though I have a bunch of shit on sale, you can use the discount code BLACK10 for 10% off your entire order. And if you are one of my patrons, be on the lookout for a special discount code for you guys that's like a, a larger discount code. So I'll have a larger discount code for my patrons, but for everyone else, you can use Black 10 to get 10% off. Uh, all of my domestic shipping is free. Uh, the international shipping will not be free, so <laughs> you, you know all about that. But you can head on down to danicaxix.bigcartel.com on Black Friday to pick up your very own Heretical Fates tarot deck and book. So we got a deck here. We're gonna do an unboxing in a moment. We've got the book here. I had to censor it because you know there's a lot of boobies because this is a nudie tarot deck. There are over 50 models in this, featured in this, over 50 nude models. Uh, we kind of got a little bit of everybody. I mean, this is one of the most diverse uh, cross section of naked people you will see. Uh, we've we've got elders in the deck. Uh, no minors though. No minors. This is not a pedo deck, but we do have some elders for you. Uh, we got trans people, gay people, straight people. We got girls. We got boys. We got non-binary people. We've got small tits. We've got big tits. We've got fat asses. We've we've got small asses. We've got famous people. We've got pregnant women. We've got porn stars. We've got musicians. We've got TikTokers. We've got black people, white people, Hispanic people, Asian people. We've got skinny people, thick people, fat people, bony people. We've got disabled people. We've got people in wheelchairs. We've got dogs. We've got tied up people. The only thing that we don't have is little people. We did. We do not have any little people. That's unfortunate. We couldn't find a little person model. But we, you know, we drag queens and everything else. We've got just about everything that you tattooed people, not tattooed people, pierced people. Uh, it's it's insane, okay? It's it's yes, dogs. Yes, there are dogs in this deck. No cats. I don't think that there's a cat in the deck, but there are absolutely dogs in the deck. People uh, featured with their dog, naked people with their dogs. Um, so so yes. So you can either get a tarot deck or you can get the book. Uh, this is the book. And so if you are not a aficionado of tarot, you don't want to read cards, but you just want to look at pictures of a lot of interesting naked people with chaotic sexual energy, <laughs> you can pick up this book. And inside this book, so Alan Amato is the guy that I partnered with on this book. Uh, also, Ja Cooper and Lauren Planapinto also worked on this book. Uh, Lauren did the layout, uh, Ja Cooper did all the illustration work, uh, Alan did all the photography, and then I wrote the book, all the card meanings. There's also an introduction by Grant Morrison, so if you're interested in that, there's, if you're a Grant Morrison fan like me. Uh, there's also an introduction by me, uh, telling you kind of what the deal is, and, and has like a little spread you can try, you know, I got this whole thing going for you. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, in your book, you got the Major Arcana, and then, you know, you turn, you see a picture, you know, and then it has the description of, you know, the deal. So I got to find somebody else who isn't, I, I'm on Twitch here, so I don't want to get in trouble for showing naked people. You know, you got to be careful. You got to be real careful. Hold on, let me find. So, so there are a lot of titties in this book, but there's no dicks, by the way. There's no dicks in this deck. There's no dicks in this book. Thanks, China. Due to China, they, they were censoring dicks this year. Uh, communist China was censoring dicks this year. The government would not allow 
penises in our dick. So uh, we got the hanged man. He's good to go. You know, nothing, nothing going on there. Uh, I myself am featured in many of the cards. I'll show you some of the cards here. Uh, so I am featured as the star card. I'm also in the sun card, 19. And I'm also featured in the five of swords and the ace of pentacles. Is that it? I feel like there might be one more, but I think that's all I can think of at the top. Um, but this is my star card. Uh, here is uh, the lovers. So I'll show you a couple, a couple of the cards here. We've got the hanged man that I just showed you. Uh, we got justice. Uh, she's from the Dresden Dolls. She's married to Neil Gaiman, uh, Amanda Palmer. I don't know if you're familiar with her, but she's one of our most, our, one of our most famous people in the deck. There's also Lancel Lannister. He's in the deck too. Uh, let's see the moon card. We got a werewolf chick. And here's a dog. There's a dog. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you dogs were in this. Here you go. Uh, the chariot. Here we go. Uh, so we got Stoya as the high priestess. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of a lot of different interesting people. Uh, in here, uh, and then we got Candy Ken the Fool. He's blown up as a TikToker since then, but he can't talk about the deck because a lot of fifteen-year-olds fucking <laughs> they follow him. So he's like Ixnay on the heretical fates. But his dick is censored in all the images, so it kind of worked out in his favor. Um, so yes, uh, what does the Ace of Pentacles look like? I can't show you because I don't have a censored version of it. Um, but it's just a kind of a close-up of like me and I'm holding like a giant pinnacle in like front of my, my, my torso. Um, so yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. So let's do a little, let's do a little, uh, unboxing here. Okay. Got my knife. Uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing. So if you buy the tarot deck, this is the box. This is what it looks like. Um, so you got the back of the box. It looks really nice. It's like really well done. Um, also, oh, let me just show you the book too. So we have the book here, you know, we've got the book in the back and it's got all these gilded edges. It looks really nice. Um, oh, actually, hold on. I can show you the sun card that I'm in. Cause I did, I did, I did censor that one. Cause I did want to show that one to you. Um, here you go. So here I am as the sun card. Uh, I'm going to try to get some eight by tens made and put those, you know, of the star and the sun card and then put those in the, in my store by Friday. We'll see. But anyways, okay, so here, this is, if you bought the deck, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, we got it all shrink-wrapped for you. Let me, uh, let me cut this shrink-wrap off here. Oh, my gosh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm going to cut the shrink-wrap off. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're going to, we're going to unshrink-wrap it. Ooh, what a nice box. Ooh, look at that. So here we all are. Alan Amato, Danica, yes, yes. And so inside the box, uh, you get a little, you get a little booklet. So the everything, all the stuff that's in the, in the big booklet is in this small booklet. So let's just take a look at this for a minute. So it's just, you know, you got your, all your card descriptions in here. Here you go. And also the um, the Grant Morrison and and my my things are also in here. Um, so so yeah. So we got all that information. And then on the inside, uh, you have a card that's signed by me and by Alan Amato. So that's really cool. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. And then you have all of these really nice gilded edge cards. You know, they're a little bigger than your average tarot deck. Like if if you have a Rider weight, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Our cards are a little bigger. Um, okay, hold on. Let me just let me get rid of this thing. Okay, take this thing off. All right, take this little card off. Uh, so yeah, and then here you go. You got there's Candy Ken. You know, it's censored. You can't see anything. Uh, let's see. We can find some other dude that's censored here. You know. Oh yeah, here we go. We got the hermit. He's censored. Yeah, we got the hermit here. He was in American Gods. This actor. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a uh, Brandon Scott Acrobat who's in the chat all the time. Here he is. Yes, looking good. Uh, I wish I could show you more of the ladies, you know, but I just here. Here's somebody you can't. Here. There you go. <laughs> 
I want to show you more of the ladies, but I also don't want to get kicked off of Twitch. This one, yeah, this one, you can't see anything. This has Nina Hartley. Nina Hartley, uh, the blonde lady, she was like a huge porn star, you know, back in, in yesteryear. She's, I mean, she's still doing it today. Like, she's still fucking uh, kicking ass and taking names. Um, but yeah, I can, I think I can show some butts. So, you know, we got, we got it all here. We got it all. So they look really nice. And then, uh, not only do you have your regular 78 tarot deck, you also have little extra cards of Alan as the vision, me as the medium, uh, yeah, good little Grant Morrison in there for you, Ja Cooper as the scribe, Lauren Planapinto as the architect, and then some extra David Mack cards for fun. Um, David Mack also illustrated a few cards for us to put at the very end, so he took uh, you know, these guys we have number 22, 23, and 24. And I believe that there's like a little description for those two in the back of the book. So yeah, so it's really cool. So I'm really excited to have been able to collaborate on my own nudie crazy tarot deck. Uh, it was such a wild ride. We kickstarted it last year. For those of you who have not received it yet in the mail, it is coming. Alan is in the process of shipping out right now. Uh, so, you know, hold hold tight, hold tight, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to be able to have these to sell to you guys uh, in the store, you know, because I just, I love making items. I love making new different merch items and I just get such a big kick out of it. And I have so much fun trying new things, whether it's making a casual cosplay um, clothing line, or whether it's making a calendar, or whether it's making um, some lip balm with CBD, or whether it's making bookmarks, or stickers, or buttons, or whatever. Uh, I love making merch for you guys. It's one, one of my greatest joys in life. I never thought that I would love making merch so much, but I do get a genuine kick out of it. So thank you uh, to everybody who supported the Kickstarter for Heretical Fates. And I'm excited for those of you who were not able to get in on the Heretical Fates Kickstarter. You still have a chance to pick up a deck at danicaxix.bigcartel.com. Now for all of my live people on Twitch, uh, I'm going to invite some of my people in the chat to uh, ask me some questions and then and then we'll do some tarot card readings. We'll do probably just do some three card readings. We'll keep it real simple today. Um, hold on, let me just, I'm gonna spread these on the ground for a second and just like really mush them up, you know? Hold on. Like that's, that's how you do it, kids. You just throw the cards on the ground and then you just mush them up. <laughs> This is how the professionals do it. All right, so now we gotta, we gotta mush them. We gotta mush, mush, mush. You know, you gotta mush them up. I'm so excited. I'm gonna keep this deck as my deck. Cause like I have a prototype deck, but there was a couple of inconsistencies with the cards. Like they, they printed like the wrong fucking like file and shit. And so like, you know, it, it's not like a perfect, it's not like a perfect deck. So this is gonna be my deck. I'm like really excited. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. We got a little bean cat. She wants to come in and say hello. She's my little witch's familiar. Every witch has to have a little black cat. And you don't have to have a little black cat, but this is the one of the best witch accessories, one of the hottest, most classic, never goes out of style witch accessories. Uh, these bean cats, these black bean cats. Uh, she's just so excited to be here, as you can tell. She's really fucking pumped for this deck. She loves she loves sitting on paper, so she's gonna love sitting on tarot spreads. I'll tell you that right now. She's looking kind of bloppy today. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're not looking bloppy. You look great. Um, I am a proud, 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 I am a proud black cat owner. She's such an asshole too, and I just love her so much. Like she's such a bitch, and like I just can't, I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough of this bean cat. You know, I just. I just love it. I just, I just love this little, I just love this little girl. I just love this little girl. Uh, so anyways, so tips and tricks when you are using the tarot cards. I highly recommend when you shuffle them, shuffle them like this, you know, like, like kind of this maneuver. You know, I don't, I don't like to do, you know, some people, they take the cards and they do that 
shuffle thing. I, I don't like to do that. I don't think the cards like that either. I mean, you can do that if you really want to. There's no right or wrong way, but personally, I like to kind of shuffle them like this. Uh, you know, just shuffle them like this. The gold rims look so good. I know, don't they? They look so nice. I love it, I love it. Uh, so who who's up first? I wanna ask my moderators first. Uh, my moderators out there. Does any of my moderators have a question that they wanna that they wanna come up with? And also, and also, and also, uh, you don't have to have a question either. If you just want to just do a general kind of reading, we can do that and just see what the cards tell you. Or we can, you know, if you have a specific question, then we can do that too. So uh, let me know. Uh, Uncle Marcus says, me, 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 me. And then Evil Dead Tim, you have one too. So we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, and yeah, and then Davey, you could be next. Um, yeah, so we'll do we'll do Uncle Marcus, Evil Dead Tim, Davey Stockrocker, uh, and then we'll then we'll go and we'll go from there. Uh, PJ, you'll definitely get one too today. So don't worry. Um, okay, so okay, so for our our first combatant. Uncle Marcus, do you have a specific question? Or do you just want to see what the cards tell you? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, okay, Uncle Marcus, I'm thinking of branching out of my comfort zone professionally. Is that a good idea? All right, here we go. Okay, okay, so interesting. So you got the devil card. And then you got the judgment card. And then you got the 10 of pentacles. I can show this one. This one doesn't have any nudity in it. And then I can kind of kind of show this one. Judgment. And then I can I can show the devil card. This is a good one. It's got Anna, Anna Fox and Candy Ken and Vivid Vidka on there. Um, okay, so, okay, so we have a past, kind of present, future. That's how I like to do my three card spreads. It's kind of like a sentence, you know? So right now, you are feeling the temptation, the temptation to go do something else. You're mighty tempted to go do something else. Um, the judgment card comes up, which is hearing a call, okay? So are you being called specifically? specifically to do something else like like you're, you're hearing a call it sounds to me like you're hearing a call of trying something different I don't know if there's something more to it than that if there's something specific uh, but this is also a card of like you know kind of oh sorry more boobies coming you know coming to God here so we have a judgment card and then we have a ten of pentacles which is like a really like like building a, a foundation for your future you know like this is like a really great situation so I feel like if you feel called you're tempted to do something else you're hearing a call if you're hearing a specific call of something to do I say try it because it's gonna lead you to the ten of Pentacles <laughs> so, so yeah that ends well I know I know it's like but that's like when you have two okay so in this three card spread you have two major arcana cards thank you Dugan White for subscribing two major arcana cards which means like this is a this is a big decision that you're making like when you get major arcana cards, like the zero through 21, those are our cosmic heavy hitters. And so the fact that you got two of those in this spread means that this is a big decision. This is a real turning point in your life decision that's going on right now. And that, uh, and that, yeah, like, I mean, it, it looks kind of pretty positive to me. Like I said, I feel like if you're really feeling that call, follow it follow it i mean i'm not going to say you're going to be oh successful right off the bat this is a long-term success card not a short-term success card so there's still maybe difficulties and there still may be uh you know frustrations and stuff with starting over and doing something new uh, but it will lead to kind of a longer term situation so answer the call answer the <laughs> Oh my God, this is exactly what I needed to hear. Thank you. You're so welcome, Uncle Marcus. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. I know that you particularly have been hit by COVID. You know, I know about your situation and uh, it sucks. And so, yeah, I mean, it's like, who knows when you'll have your fucking job back and it's such a bummer. So, I mean, if you're feeling the call to do something else, I say give it a shot. 19 Academy thanks these lovely people for all their generosity and support on patreon.com slash Danica XIX. 
And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, ring the bell, and tell your friends. You can join me live on twitch.tv slash DanicaXIX and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DanicaXIX. Support for 19 Academy comes from viewers like you on patreon.com slash DanicaXIX.